Hello everyone, Chi Chuan here. Today I'm going to show you how to create top end filter in Tableau. We are going to de demonstrate three examples here. The first one is going to be the top end filter. I wanted to filter the subcategory and I have a parameter here that allow our user to choose how many subcategories they want to show. And note the change here in the chat title. The chat title is going to change, the number is going to change according to the user selection. The next one is going to be a top end filter for subcategory for selected category. For example, I wanted to show top three subcategories within the furniture category office supplies and technology and also note the change in the chat title as I change the parameter of the top end as well as the category filter. The third example we are going to do is I'm not trying to select any category anymore. Instead I wanted to show all categories but top and subcategories within all category. All right, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use the sample superstore data set, which is the safe data source for all Tableau users. Let's format our workbook. Then we are going to create the first use case, which is top end filter. So to create a top end filter, we need to drag our subcategory into rows, sales into columns. Now we want to filter our subcategory. We can drag our subcategory into the filter. Top by fill. And then you choose the number you want to filter. Let's say top three sum of sets. It's going to be three. But we cannot, we show a filter, you cannot choose how many you want to filter. It means you cannot choose the end that you want to filter. So we are going to create a parameter named as top n. This parameter, I wanted it to be a range, minimum, maximum, and one. Since our subcategory only have 10 plus each of subcategory, so maybe we put it as 20. Should right click and show parameters change the parameter type to type in. Note that if I change the number here, nothing is going to change because parameter is just a variable that holds a number. So we need to tell Tableau where we want to use this parameter or this variable. So we right click on our subcategory, edit filter. Instead of top three, I'm going to select top and which is the parameter I just created. Click OK. Now it's going to change according to our selection. The next thing we're going to do is we want to change the end in the chart title so that it's going to be dynamic to our selection. To edit the chart title, we we'll double click. By default, the chart title is going to change according to our shape name. We're going to delete this parameter and we're going to type top and filter. Then we are going to change the end to the parameter we created, parameters dot top end. Click OK. Don't forget to color the number. Now you try to change your filter. 
the chart title is going to change according to the selection. Next use case is our top end subcategory for selected category. So let us start by creating a category, subcategory, and sum of sales chart. So category into the rows, subcategory into the rows, sum of sales into the columns. Now I'm trying to repeat what I did just now. Subcategory into the filters, top and sum of sales. Okay. And then I'll add category. Right click, show filter. Right click top end parameter, show parameter, change to type name. I'm trying to show that says office supplies. It's going to show all three for office supplies, right? But now when I click on office supplies, it shows only one. This is because the top end subcategory is filtered according to all category and all subcategory. It means it's ignoring your category filter. So when you choose a top end, the, field, the top end filter is applied to the whole subcategory. In that case, we want our category filter to run before our top end filter. So we are going to right click our category filter and add the filter to context. Now it's going to change according to our selection. Let's change our filter to single value list and try to change to technology, furniture, and office supplies. Okay, now again, we want to edit our chart title. Top and subcategory for the selected category. Then we click OK, change the color. And there we go. For the next use cases, I'm trying to show for all category, but using this chart that I've built, when I select all for my category, note that the top two that I, that I imagined wasn't showing as expected like this. Instead, it's showing only two subcategories because the category filter run before our top end. So for all categories, choose only two subcategories with the highest sum of sales. This is what it means here. So it, on, it will only show two subcategories that has the highest sum of sales. But this is not what we want. We are trying to show two subcategories within each product category. So this is going to be another way. Let's create another worksheet and name this as top filter. And we're going to build a chart for category, subcategory, and sales. Show our parameter, change the type name. Instead of using subcategory in the filter, we wanted to use rank table calculations. So control drag a sum of sales into the logo, right click, Quick table calculation and we wanted to choose rank. Now it's going to rank our sum of cells for our subcategories. Right click on this pill, compute using pain down. It means you want the calculation to end within the, the, the pain, and each pain is in each category. 
So furniture is going to rank four of them. Office supplies is going to rank nine of these subcategories. The technology is going to rank these four subcategories. Control drag this tail into the figure. We can choose, let's say we want three. Then this whole thing will be filtered according to the selection. But here's the problem. We cannot input a parameter into this filter. When we edit a filter, there is no way for us to input a parameter here. And therefore, we cannot use this to affect our filter. This is not what we want. We want to use this filter, this parameter, when we change it, it's going to change, it's going to affect the filter. In this case, we're going to remove this from the filter and then we wanted to use a calculated field to limit this calculation within our parameter. In order to use our table calculation in the calculated field, we, are, we need to control, drag this back into the data pane. Note that this calculation, this table calculation is now a field or a calculated field in our data pane. So I'm going to rename this as rank self. Now I'm going to create a calculated field, rank sales with in range. For rank sales within range, it returns true when my rank sales is less than or equals to my top end parameter. Then I click OK, drag this into the filter, tick only true values. Now you see this is going to change according to my selection. Now the last thing we need to do is edit the chart icon, top and filter for all. And there you go, our three use cases for top and filter.